Hi everyone, we hope you're doing well. We continue to pray for you. I can't wait to be rejoined as a community of faith after this is over and understand what the future is like for us as a community of faith. One of the names that we'll look at today will actually help us as we approach an unknown future, a new normal as a community of faith, as children of God. It has to do with God's presence. Now there are people maybe in your life right now and during the stay at home orders that just you need a break from, right? They just, they're there all the time. And maybe before when you had school or you had work, um, there was a way to just get a break. And maybe um, now that they're there all the time, it just feel, you feel like I need some space. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're finding a new appreciation for loved ones, for family members, because you haven't gotten to spend as much time with them. And this time to stay at home has allowed you a lot of time to spend with them. Now, if you could begin to just imagine that presence, now flip it over to the presence of God. How much do you really think of or sense or see or experience the presence of God? The name that we'll look at today is Jehovah Shammah, means the Lord is there. And this concept comes in the Bible in the book of Ezekiel. It's really interesting because um, early in the book of Ezekiel, the people have left God and his presence is gone because of the people's choices and their, their decisions. Later in Ezekiel 44, God's presence returns. And then in Ezekiel chapter 48, God begins to talk of the new Jerusalem, the new earth, right? The, the future city of God where we will be with God for all eternity, and his presence will be there. Now, in that moment, we get to see or hear this new name of God, Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there, introduced. Now, I remember in Indonesia, it was really interesting um, the way that our interactions with police would go. Now, not all police were bad in any way, um, but whenever we seemed to need police, they just weren't there. And whenever I seem to make a mistake driving, they were always there. Right? There are different rules of the road in Indonesia, different, different ways to drive, different ways to turn. And, and oftentimes there weren't signs that directed you how to do certain things. So if I didn't know what to do and I didn't have a, a model to follow in people driving around me, I would just revert back to what I knew in the U.S., and sometimes that'd be wrong. And sure enough, those times I would make those mistakes happened to be at major intersections or major streets, just as I drove past a police post. And there they would flag me down and they would say, you shouldn't have done this. And I was like, where were you yesterday when my phone got stolen? Like, where were you last week when I had money taken? Where were you last year when they were, you know, making fun of me because I was a foreigner and, and causing me problems? The times that I really wanted police to be there, they just, they weren't there. The times I wish they weren't there, there they were. So that feeling of, of that there they were, that's the feeling that comes with this name of God, except obviously we'd want to be in God's presence. But it would be not now, right? Because there are times I'm sure you don't feel God's presence. You don't sense God's presence, but you'd want to. So in this progression through the book of Ezekiel, God's presence was there. But because of the choices of the people, it's gone. So the people are feeling this loss, right? They, they understand what it meant to have God's presence and to be without God's presence. And then God's presence returns. But then he goes on to say, but this is what it's really going to be like. Right? This, when the new Jerusalem is made, when the new city is made, when, when you are with me for eternity, I am going to build this new city. And he begins to describe this city. And in verse 35 of Ezekiel 48, God says this, And the name of the city from that time on shall be the Lord is there, shall be Jehovah Shammah. Because it will be like that person you're in quarantine with, that person you're in the stay-at-home order with. They're just always there. You won't have those times of doubt. You won't have those times of question. You won't have those moments of feeling distant because God's presence will be there. You will be in the presence of God. You will be in the presence of the city whose name is 
Yahweh or Jehovah Shama. The Lord is there. You don't know what to call the city, just call it God's there. Because you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt every millisecond of your existence at that point that God is there. You will not be able to be out of God's presence. And it is an a, a image of the future of what we actually experience now with God. We just don't feel it all the time, but God is always with us. This is the moment where we'll know that beyond a shadow of a doubt. So if we look forward to that, it also should help us be encouraged now that God has not left us, right? That whether you are staying at home and loving it, God is with you. If you are staying at home and hating it, God is with you. If you are in difficult times financially, God is with you. If you're actually doing great financially, God is with you. If you get coronavirus, God is with you. And if you don't, God is with you because God is always there. He's Jehovah Shammah. And that's the point of this name, that you will never be able to escape God if you are his child because you are a part of his family. It's similar to what Jesus alluded to at the end of Matthew 28, before he left to go back up to the throne of, of king, the kingdom of heaven. In verse 20 of Matthew 28, he says, I will be with you until the very end of the age. I will always be with you. His presence will be with his children because God is Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. He's always there. The psalmist in Psalm 139 asks this question, where can I go from your presence? If I go here, you're there. If I go here, you're there. If I go here, you're there. There's nowhere that I can go where you are not because you are always there. That is the heart behind this name of Jehovah Shammah. And God wants us to know, especially during this time, he hasn't left us. He will always be with us. And one day there will be a moment where we step into a new reality where we will feel and experience his presence nonstop because he is Jehovah Shammah and he is waiting for us to understand that his presence never leaves us and never lets us down. God bless.